Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by this Sunday morning. Figured I'd go ahead and film this tonight. So I wanted to film this video for a little bit now. Um, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You want to say hi? You want to say hi to YouTube? You want to say hi? You want to be famous? I'm not going to get famous on my channel, but you might. I don't know. Let's see. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You okay? <laughs> No, I love cats. Love cats. Cats are awesome. So, yeah, I've been thinking about doing this video. It's kind of poking fun at myself and kind of pointing things out because it's true. It's true. And it's kind of sad and true at the same time. Now, it, it doesn't take much of like a first... Anybody that hops on my channel, uh, they see me. They automatically... Well, usually the first thing that pops in their head is, damn, how sexy is this guy? I'm just kidding. They're probably thinking, this guy is thick. This guy's a thick boy, and I am. I'm, I'm a real big guy. Now, I used to be way bigger, about 100 pounds bigger than what I am today. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm staying, I, I'm kind of plateauing right now. I'm about 306 right now, uh, getting closer and closer to that 300 mark. Uh, and the goal is, you know, before I go to Japan in a couple of years, is to get down to at least 230. That's, that's the idea. Um, and the way I'm going to be doing that, hopefully, is getting back into training with the boxing and stuff. But I'm a big guy. I'm a thick boy. I like to eat donuts, pizza, uh, Chinese, you name it. I like healthy food, too, but I eat too much of it. Now, I had I had weight loss surgery a couple years ago. Uh, didn't turn it. I mean, I lost almost 100 pounds, right? Um, you know, recently, maybe a couple months ago, I was at 332 pounds, and now I'm down to 306. Which is great, which is really great. Um, you know, I, I I try not to eat as much as I used to, but my problem is is the things that I do eat is like not good for me at all. But I eat them anyways. Um, but I want to tell, tell, tell you what what's it like being a fat guy? What's it like being the big thick boy, like a big old baloney boy? Uh, that's me. <laughs> um, first and foremost, it's not fun. Um, it's not fun. It's, it's, it is fun in a way because you can take poke fun of yourself. Now, you know, some people get offended when you call them fat or something like that. We have this thing going on with the uh, body acceptance thing going on, this woke bullshit that, um, you know, it's it's really not healthy. As, as a real life fat person, I want to go ahead and tell you being fat is unhealthy and it's not cool. And, you know, try to fix yourself. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, I'm always want to be big, but, you know, I want to be smaller and try to be healthier. That's the only thing I could say. And just like me, just like me, you'll probably fail at your diets. Um, and most of the time you'll hop back on or sometimes you don't. Um, me, I have failed so many diets. Failed so many things. I failed my weight loss surgery by going back to the way I used to eat. I can't eat as much, but still I eat junk. And I talk about from time to time on the channel, like, you know, how I'm the big guy. I poke fun of myself. It's it's funny. It's funny. Like, think of some of your funniest comedians. Like, some of the best comedians. Uh, usually fat guys. Chris Farley, the guy from Kings and Queens. Uh, Fluffy. I'm sure there's more. There's more fat people that are comedians. Usually the fat people are usually the funniest. Um, most of the time. So either you're fat or you're black. If you're black, you're really funny. If you're fat, you're really funny. Um. Uh, it's it's just true. I mean, that's it's positive. I mean, is it funnier for a fat guy to get on stage and try and doing cartwheels and stuff like that, or is just some skinny dude doing that? Obviously, it's going to be the fat guy doing the cartwheels, and you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty funny, because it is. It's kind of funny, and you know, it, it's easy to make fun of myself. It's easy for other people to make fun of me. It's that's easy. Um, you know, as a fat person, you kind of you know get immune to that. Some people don't. Some people don't get immune to it. Some people. Take it to heart, but, you know, if you let people just constantly just, like, you know, hound you and you're, like, so susceptible to, like, uh, just being sad and aggravated and hurt, then maybe you should fix yourself right away. Uh, stop subscribing to this uh, body acceptance stuff because, it's again, it's not healthy. Now, am I saying that all fat people are bad? Fuck no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. Like, uh, I'm saying is that it's not healthy. Uh, at all, it's not. We, I mean, for for fuck's sake, like, you know, I've shown this many, many a times. I got a bag, this bag, full of medication. 
full medic. And not to mention the insulin that's in the refrigerator. Yes. Diabetes. Heart problem. Blood pressure. Cholesterol. Sleep apnea. Uh, depression. You name it. If you're fat, you probably got it. If you're morbidly obese. And, you know, it, it took me a while. And like I said, we've talked about this stuff before. Um, you know, watching this 600-pound life and watching some of this stuff on, like, TikTok and YouTube where you get these fat people saying, be proud to be fat. Uh, keep being fat. You're fat phobic if you don't like fat people. Or you're fat phobic if you decide to go on a diet or an exercise. There's nothing wrong with being fat. And usually these people get so sick. Like, how many times do you hear big, giant people dying really early? A lot. A lot. Uh, usually it's complications with their heart, blood pressure, you name it. Like, being fat's not healthy. I'm going to tell you that. And you're probably wondering, why, aren't you, why are you so fat then? I'm trying. And like I said, I failed many times. Um, but, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're going down the road and somebody tells you, hey, it's okay to be fat, just do it. Um, I mean, you can. You can. That's your choice. It's your body. Your choice. I, I'm a believer in that. You can do whatever you want with your body. I don't care. But, you know, it's totally up to you. But I, you know, me, me, I, I really don't want to die too early. I know I'm not doing my best that I can to stop that. Uh, and I know there's a lot of room for improvement. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that it's easy because it's not. You're going to fall off. if you're. I mean, the temptation's always out there. It's easier to go to McDonald's, get two McDoubles and some fries and a large Coke than it is to go buy a salad for 12 bucks. You buy, I don't know, well, McDonald's is expensive anymore anyway. Everything's expensive, but it's cheaper to get junk food than it is to get something that's healthy, which is backwards. It's totally backwards. I don't understand that. Like, I really don't. We could put our tinfoil hats and try to figure out why, but, you know, I, my, my old guess is maybe, like, they're prepping to get us all fat and big, so when the next war is, like, if they have to use, like, catapults, they can always catapult the fat people at the enemy. Like, maybe that's what they're trying to do. Like, that's why they're they're prepping this whole body positivity stuff. Like, the military is going to use us as fucking catapult fodder. Could you imagine, like, a big fat guy, like, being strapped to a catapult and fired, like, right at, like, a group of, like, 20 people, like... With explosives on, and uh, like the guy's got like jelly donuts in one hand and a huge Slurpee in the other hand. It's like, I'm coming for you, motherfuckers! And explodes all over the place. It's like the end of the movie Tremors when the tremor finally hits the wall and explodes. It would look like that, which is pretty nasty. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, as a fat person, uh, as a big guy, as a big man or somebody that's been way bigger and somebody that already has the problems that comes with being a big guy, uh, I don't think it's a good thing to subscribe to, honestly. I think if uh, this was a Netflix special, I'd turn it off. Honestly, I would. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I'm not doing a good job. It's diet, but it's still bad for me. Uh, donuts and all, I don't know. It's Food is just great, and we all love food. It's a comfort thing, like especially if you have mental health issues. Some people get really big because they eat because it makes them feel good. Me, I'm the same way. I'm like, okay, you know what will make me feel really good? Really good? I'll take a big thing of sushi and some wontons and some fucking whatever, KFC. I, I don't know. Whatever fat people eat, <laughs> I guess. This is probably a stupid video, honestly. It really is. And I, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea why you shouldn't do this. Maybe you should fix yourself a little bit. Um, like, like I said, I'm not good at it. I, I, I'm preaching to the choir, and the choir's looking at me, and they're like, Dude, dude, you're totally eating Jolly Pirate Donuts right now. I know. I know. But being a fat person is really not that great. Uh, I'm just going to tell you. I mean, the clothes, that's one thing. It's hard to find clothes to fit. Uh, try hard to fit through doors sometimes, like, especially if they're made for, like, little people. Like, if you go to the theme parks and get on a roller coaster, chances are they're going to kick you off because you can't fit in a seat without looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy, like, getting wrapped around with pantyhose or something like that. That's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. It's, it's, it's truly awful. 
but like I said, I you know I'm happy that I'm losing weight. I'm happy that I'm not as big as I used to be because I'm, my God, I used to be really big. You can go back um, through my videos, like in the past, like if you go back as soon as maybe four years ago, you would see maybe three years, I guess, maybe three. Um, you will see, you see the big difference. I can tell the big difference. Like I can, I can't, I'm still fat, but you know, at least I'm losing the weight. Um, you know, I, it would be kind of cool like to eventually like get us a little program going, like maybe like a, uh, bits and pieces or f so, something to lose weight. I, I don't know. Something fun. I just, I just, I don't know guys. I, I think, I think I'd said enough. Guys, I love you very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.